Could the key to solving some of the world's climate problems lie in Greenland's turquoise fjords? Some mining companies, investors and geologists are getting excited about a rock called an orthosite. Uh, this rock, the anorthosite, is created at relatively great depth. In general, it's, a, it's an ordinary rock, but the chemistry here is, is, is unique. Similar to the rock that the Apollo missions brought back from the moon, anorthosite is a relatively sustainable source of aluminium, as well as a more climate-friendly ingredient for making fiberglass. Geologist Anders Norby Lai has been exploring anorthosite in Greenland for nine years. You find it in Canada, you find it in, in, in Scandinavia, Russia, South Africa. But here it's very unique because it's so pure in, uh, and depleted from the elements that is undesired from the industry, the alkalis. It's very, very pure, only in, contains only calcium, silica and alumina. Greenland anorthosite mining plans to ship 120 tonnes of crushed anorthosite to potential customers in the fibreglass industry as an alternative to kaolin clay. They say anorthosite melts at a lower temperature, has a lower heavy metal content and produces less waste and greenhouse gas emissions. An even bigger aim is to use anorthosite as an alternative to bauxite to produce aluminium which would fit in nicely with European Union ambitions to diversify mineral sources. It's for these reasons that the country's newly elected government has placed Northside at the centre of its efforts to promote mineral-rich Greenland as environmentally responsible. Even NASA has taken note. The space agency has been using crushed Northside powder from a smaller Greenland mine to test equipment as part of a space race that would involve mining on the moon and even establishing communities there. Klaus Stoltenberg is the CEO of Greenland Anorthosite Mining. We will use the anorthosite mainly for, for fiberglass. We have a very good quality for fiberglass. We will also use it for fillers, for paint and ceramics. And, uh, and we have some secondary purposes as well, but, uh, but they are really secondary for, for economic reasons. The company hopes to have an exploration permit by the end of 2022. Right now we're doing the environmental impact study and the social impact study. Uh, based on that, that will be completed uh, early next year. We'll do the impact benefit agreement and then we can have the license.